What's up gamers? And welcome to a new game we're gonna demo called Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire. That's right ladies and gentlemen, we have decided to, well, I have decided to, check, check this game out. I was gonna try Final Fantasy Brave XVS, but then once I heard about this, I had to jump on board. Because I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy XV in general, so to play a mobile game, uh, spinoff if you will, sounded like a great idea. I will let you know that it does not follow the Final Fantasy XV storyline. This is basically just a war game with some Final Fantasy skins on it. And not too much skins either. I mean, basically you see Noctis, you see a couple of other characters that you know and love in the menu screens here and there. And from what I've seen so far, there are Chocobos. But outside of that, I haven't seen nothing that's very Final Fantasy-ish, if you will. So I just want to let you guys know. So in this game, this is more like, I don't know if you've heard of this, but there was an old school game in the 90s called Aegis. It was a text-based war game. I never played it myself, but I know people who played it. Actually, my girlfriend used to play it a long, long time ago. Uh, her name was LND. So uh, apparently she said she was a big deal back then. So, you know, that's cool. Either way, that's basically what this game is. It's a slow-paced war game. It's not like an, um, a major RTS like Command & Conquer where you're building really quick and, and you know, you gotta kill their base. This is kind of a slower-paced thing where you can take your time and, you know, build up to a point to where you have your own empire that you get to do things with. So for starters, typically on the bottom left, you'll see where it says 37 minutes and so odd seconds, the little flag there. It's usually hopping up and down. You would just tap it to, to collect an item. Uh, this is my second recording because I kept getting messages while my recording was going the first time. So I had to redo this so I couldn't show you. On the bottom right, you'll see a handshake. You just tap it and then just help all and then you can help other people. On the top, top bar, it says more loyalty in, and it says time. If that timer were actually not there, I would gain loyalty points every time I would send somebody help. What you're doing is basically you're helping people build resources, which is what's really cool about this game. It really promotes a lot of teamwork, so I'll kind of get into that. So, like I said, it's a slow-paced war game, not a major RTS like I tried saying in the podcast. So, uh, for those who heard me say that, I do apologize. But what this game basically is, is you, you know, build up a base full of all kinds of stuff. And I will be honest, it did feel a little overwhelming at first. Because when you first log into the game, you know, Noctis is there saying, Hey, welcome to the game. Here's a crap ton of information. Build this. Now build that. Now build this. And so you're kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know, whatever. I'm just going to do it and see what happens. And that's kind of how I did it. I just kept doing what the game told me to do. And then eventually I figured out certain things on my own. Uh, the game is pretty nice so far. I kind of like it. The only thing that's a bit overcomplicated, though, was the fact that it took me a long time to figure out how to actually update my username. Apparently you have to go to items and then you have an item that apparently allows you to change your profile name. So, I thought that was a little weird that they did that because, you know, people in the go like, don't forget to change your name. And I'm like, I don't know how. So, that's the thing. Oh, people need help again. So, the game does encourage you to join a guild. And it is very important to do so. I'm currently in a guild called GFG, which is Gold Fruit Gaming, if I'm not mistaken. And basically... When you first start, you're gonna your base is gonna be in a random location. Now my base is currently level ten based on my citadel's level. The citadel is your main structure for building everything else. That kind of sets the tone for what you can build. So those of you who are familiar with Command and Conquer, especially the Red Alert series, because that's what I used to play, knows that when you build, you know, a certain construction, that certain construction will allow you to build others. It's kind of the similar process. The difference is, is, again, you're not rushing to kill people. You're just building up your base. And when you join a guild, now you're going to spawn a random location. Our guild leader more or less told us, hey, why don't we all just come over in a certain area together so we can work together. So the majority of us in the guild are actually here. I'm a Krunksta, obviously. Uh, and, of course, we have a ton of other people here. Now, if you notice, a lot of these names have a little bubble, including mine. The bubble means that you cannot be attacked. 
and once the shield goes down, like the people above me, that means that you're susceptible to attacks. Now, of course, if you build up certain things in your base, it means you know you could either be able to defend yourself by using traps and you know your units to keep from losing any resources or you know losing any people, things like that. The, basically, the higher you level everything, the, the better chance you have of protecting stuff. And there are lots of details in this game, lots and lots of details. So if you're not really into the whole like let's build this and build that over and over, then you might not be a fan of this. But honestly, I think that if you're into like war games in general, anything that involves kind of war strategy and guilds and, you know, teamwork, this is a fantastic game for it. I highly recommend joining a guild. Guilds will help you build structures. Guilds can actually send you resources. And this is a really good guild that I'm in right now because a lot of the people, there are some people who already high enough levels, some who may have spent money, uh, some who just play a lot, whatever the case may be, who actually have a lot of resources and are very kind to actually give me and others resources to help build our bases faster. So shout out to those guys. I'm not going to say anyone's name because I'm not going to put anyone on blast, especially when I don't even know anybody and I'm kind of like um, near the bottom of the totem pole. I mean, I chat here and there, but I have no intention of trying to be a big you know player in this game i just kind of want to enjoy the game and you know participate and you know be just a good part of the team in general uh just like i am with every other mobile game that i play now of course with every other mobile game i play i usually end up taking over guilds and stuff but i don't plan on doing that on this game this game i'm just going to be a regular person i try hard to just be a regular person so anyway um basically what you can do too in this game is you can either go to these little tiles that have you know resources like food uh, currently it's unoccupied so i could send some re uh, reinforcements there to gather food if i wanted to so you would tap occupy uh you could either do q max to send everybody you have which right now i don't have much because i'm kind of focused on building other things but uh, this is just kind of a demo to kind of show you guys you know what you could do so if i was to tap march then people would more or less go over here to try to farm something uh, another thing that you can do and actually i'm going to see if i can show something better real quick because i built something yesterday actually let me do a couple of things here and get some things started while i'm talking so you're going to see me kind of go back and forth through different screens but i kind of want to show you what i consider the best thing to do in terms of gaining resources because this is something i just learned recently so oh, other, other than building structures within those structures there are other things that you can level as well uh mp recovery which i believe is um how long it takes for you to regenerate your mp after an attack you have the hero's critical hit which basically boosts your crit and then, of course, the monster attack march speed, which basically, because anytime time you declare you an attack on something, you have to physically walk there. So you're not just teleporting there and boom, you're there. And it actually does a walking sequence. You go to it, so that'll reduce the time if you level up high enough. But since I have everything at level 6, that means I have access to this tree down here, which is what I've been really wanting to get. Because from what I can tell, the best ways to gain resources, other than building certain things at high levels, is to attack monsters, or you can attack other players. I don't really attack other players right now because I don't think I'm really that strong yet. Again, I'm still learning and I'm new to this, so I'm probably not going to mess with nobody until I absolutely have to. Like, if someone comes after me, then, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll go from there. I'm going to actually update my monster tactics level 2. So, anytime you want to update something or build something, uh, you tap on it, go to research, in this case. And, unfortunately, I don't have enough gill and I don't have enough energy to build this. So, what I could do if I wanted to is I could go to chat and I could say, Hey, uh, can anybody send me gill or energy? I'm trying to build something, and if somebody has the resources, then they'll actually be happy to send it to you, and then, you know, you can start building that up. The reason I don't have enough right now is because I was actually playing, like, maybe six or seven hours ago before I went to bed, and I blew all my load building uh, these up to six. So I really wanted to kind of show off um, basically finding a level two, but I might just have to find a level one. 
is I kind of want to show you guys a few things as far as what you can do. So I'm going to try to find a level 1 monster. Like here's a level 5. This this would give me a lot of goodies if I had the resources, but I don't have the, or I leveled up high enough. But I'm not quite there yet. And there's a level 4 monster. I'm just trying to find like a level 1 monster that I can just attack real quick. So you basically, if you scroll down, you can see the entire war map. You can see other bases, you can see other monsters. Oh, here we go, there's a level 1. So basically, I, if I wanted to, I can do, you can either do a regular attack for 500, I'm guessing it's MP, or you can go max attack, which is spend everything that you have, and he'll more or less go all out, which is what I typically do, because I want to kill him, so I'm going to go all out. So what happens now is you see it's being targeted. If I was to go back to my base, you'll actually see, like, wow, way over here. Okay, if you look down in the middle right now, past where the little fruit stuff is, my person's, my Noctis basically is currently walking down there right now, uh, going towards the enemy. So once it reaches it, it'll actually start attacking. And if you look at the top of the screen, it'll actually show marking how long it takes to take about two minutes and some change. Uh, you can speed it up if I wanted to by using items that can increase it by 25%. I don't typically do that, but, you know, it's something you can do if you're, like, in a rough spot or you're in a rough territory, you know, against another guild that's very aggressive. So, you know, there are reasons to do it. And apparently, I'll be honest with you, I think it's funny that he can actually walk on water in this game, uh, which you're going to see here in a moment. So that's one thing you can do is basically, you know, you can go and attack monsters. And then the other thing you can do too, which I'm going to show off while he's walking, is if you can also gain materials. So remember how I said I was missing two things? I'm missing, uh, I think it was Gil and something else. I'm missing Gil and energy. So I can actually farm for energy. Now this is another way that you can actually get more but it's kind of a slower process basically there are certain fields like this fruit here uh there's also uh, metal that you need to build but we're looking for energy so i had to find basically an energy source that i can withdraw from uh, typically i think metal and stones is what you will more than likely run out of the most i don't recall if there's an energy one or not i typically don't need it to be perfectly honest i almost never need energy oh and this apparently someone destroyed this guy so you can attack people you can get attacked just keep in mind that if you level up certain buildings you won't have to worry about you know losing a lot of your stuff so just keep that in mind my noctis is almost ready to fight but i don't i can't really find the energy thing right now so I'll just kind of farm for something else while we wait. So we'll just find something near my base, which is the smartest thing to do. All right, so we'll go to this metal thing that's unoccupied. Now, if it's occupied and someone's there, you could still march and just attack whoever's there to take it from them. I don't typically do that, so that's the thing. I'm not going to necessarily do the max, but uh, I do this to kind of make this a little easier. I send X amount of troops to do this and that. So I'm going to pick, let's say, 200 of these guys. 200 of these guys. And 200 of these guys. I think this was already at 200. And boom, you'll march. And what happens is now if you look at my base, it's people with a flag walking with a little arrow to that, arrow, to that location. Now if you go back to my marching... Oh, I guess I have to actually go to it. Sometimes you can just... Oh, here it goes. You tap on the boot, and then you go to... Alright, well, let's see. He might be there by now. Oh, okay. Apparently I already killed it, because it got replaced by something else. So, sorry you actually missed that, because I got distracted trying to do stuff. But basically, once you're done either attacking something or harvesting something, 
then your troop will march back you know, to your base and you'll be able to collect the needed items for what you're trying to do. So my, in my personal experience, for those that are new players, I found that attacking monsters and or attacking other players is the fastest way to gain resources. Now, of course, you're not always going to win attacking other players, and if you're going to do that, you're going to want to scout them first. I'm not going to go into all the details, but this is just a demo. So, but yeah, basically you can get resources by, you know, attacking people. You can build stuff, so I'll go back to my castle. Uh, if you look on the bottom right hand of your area, I built a bunch of multiples. So, for example, I have this level 9 farm. That I'm building up and I have a lot of level sevens as well like I always make duplicates uh, this is my resource vaults that uh, I think it allows me to hold more stuff um, this is what gets me energy energy extractor uh, you have a quarry that helps you to build your stones uh, which honestly is something you run out of a lot so I build multiples so that I can, you know, get stuff faster. I try not to ask for help if I don't absolutely need it. Uh, in this case, I'm probably not going to, even though I really, really, really want to get that um, monster level 2 thing, but I can wait a while. Plus, I'm about to do a bunch of quests right now that'll probably give me what I need. Um, but yeah, 100% join a guild, uh, you know, ask for help as far as, you know, how to do stuff in the game. The guild will help you to either gain you items to build stuff, or they'll just help you as you're building. Because once you build something, actually, I'll just show you real quick. I will build something for you guys. Let's see. Now, I'm tapping the uh, quest bar. Uh, when you do, when you fulfill a quest in the game, you gain resources for doing it. So it rewards you for doing it. So I upgrade, and it tells you what it does. It lets you know what what you need and how much and what uh, upgrade rewards you're going to get. So I'll hit upgrade. Now it says help on the top of the screen. So I click help and then what will happen is people will, there we go, maximum, I believe help, sea dog helped. And I believe it's up to like four or five people that can help depending on the structure that you're doing. And then it used to a little bar just kind of going. And if I wanted to speed it up, I hit the speed up button. And then I can use items that will reduce it by a minute, by 5 minutes, by 15 minutes, to 20 minutes. I had one for 60 minutes, but I accidentally wasted it. I didn't mean to. I hit the wrong button, which really sucks. But whatever. Um, but yeah, and then of course I can help other people. And now you'll see where it says Krunkster, which is me, obviously. Uh, I have two people that have helped me so far. I told the five people can. I believe the way that it works is anytime somebody helps, it decreases the amount of time you have to wait by a minute, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, every minute helps, you know. And I guess I'll just look at the other options. So, go to quests, because this is what you're going to want to do first. Uh, Empire quests, basically, that little bottom tab that I tapped to build that build building. Uh, once you build something, you can come here to collect your reward. And then you go to hero quests, and then usually every, like, I think five or six hours, you can get more quest and this doesn't cost you nothing you just tap it and then it after the timer runs out you'll gain whatever the reward is uh going back and do all of these as often as you can i'll do the 52 minute one and, and of course i have a vip quest because i have a 24 hour thing activated so i get extra stuff so i get that started and now i have a nice you know queue building up uh, and I have four things that are currently building. So the one that's like 54 minutes, I could just speed that up right now if I wanted to. So I could just say, you know what, let's lower by 30 minutes. Boom. Now the timer's at 21.35 if you look at the top. And then, you know, I could use other resources to lower it and lower it. So that's kind of how that works. And that's, a good, that's what you're going to want to do to get your resources as well. Uh, also in your guild, there's going to be a little you know, gift box that you can tap from time to time to give you something, open it, tells you what you got, clear it, and then something that me and a few other people in the guild made the mistake of, we didn't realize that a lot of the stuff that we had was actually sitting in our items not being collected, and I'll kind of let you know what I mean. 
First I let me go to my bill box because I have a few things to report. Uh, I killed a monster and this is the rewards that I got. See right here? All this stuff is what I got for killing a level 1 monster. Imagine killing a level 2 or hell even a level 5 monster how much more I would have gotten. But I don't get a lot of this even from farming. Like farming, like actually going to a place and sitting there for a while, it takes time and you don't get nowhere near this amount of stuff. That's why this right here, just attacking monsters in my opinion, from what I've seen so far, is the absolute best way to gain items. So I got all this stuff, even experience for Noctis, which is really cool, because the more you level up your hero as well, the better that he can be doing stuff, the better your uh, empire will be overall. Uh, and then of course I, oh yeah, so this is my march that had returned. Remember how I showed you me walking somewhere to gain resources? This is the end result. I got 1,616 items. And I didn't find any extra materials because I, don't, I didn't think I sent enough people to get extra materials. But that's the whole thing. You only get so much by marching to, to an area. That's why doing monster hunts is probably the fastest way to, to do better. I just need to level up my... Um, monster research to two, three, four, and etc. Uh, and of course, I just delete as I go. Oh, and if you have a treasury, basically you want to spend up to you know all you can to upgrade your gold because your gold is what basically is your currency. So I got an extra ten gold because you get ten percent back. The max I can hold is a hundred. As far as like gaining interest, uh, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to items. I'm going to go to my items, and I'm going to go to resources. Now, here's where you can actually collect some of the stuff you got. I didn't notice for a long time, so I had a ton of resources just sitting here after, like, two days worth of, like, playing the game. I had no idea it was even there. So, you just use it so you get gold, uh, got more energy, which I kind of need, actually. Got more metal, more metal, and I got some gill, which I also need. So that, so don't forget to check this after you like kill monsters or do quests and whatnot. Um, it's going to really help you out as far as being better in the game. Uh, be leveling up faster, doing all the good stuff you want to do. It'd be helpful to your guild. Um, right now, as far as leaderboards, because there's more you can do. Well, actually, before I go over to leaderboards, let's look at their hero. So currently, I've decided to use Noctis. If I wanted to change my hero, I could. I just choose not to. Uh, where it says skills, that's your AP. Uh, right now, I only have two because I've been kind of spending it on other things. Uh, so you can level up certain things on your tree uh, for Noctis to make them better or, or make your empire better in general. Uh, you can equip items. So right now, I have a broadsword uh, that helps my troops attack bonus and my training speed goes up. I have... Um, basically a jeweled ring that helps food production and then of course I have oops, wrong one. I have a tunic that helps with uh, troop armor bonus so you know some small stuff nothing crazy and then as far as guilds in general there is an area that kind of tells you where everybody's at so let's go to leaderboards uh, you know you can get basically the best of everyone in in the whole entire realm individually so as far as power is concerned you can just tap it and it will give you like the top most powerful players basically your power depends on you know the level of your base how many troops you have all kinds of factors so that you'll know you know who the most powerful people are and this is the current list uh in our realm now if i want to back up i can just tap on guild so you see uh, let's say the most powerful guild so we'll go with uh power and you can tell who's up. Uh, the Wolf Pack is number one, followed by Fallen War Gods. And it goes down the list from there. Our guild is currently number seven, which is Gold Fruit Gaming. That's the guild that I'm in currently. And uh, I don't really plan on leaving because I actually like the group that I'm with. Very nice, very helpful. Uh, you know, just a lot of team effort and just kind of BSing here and there. So, really, really good people. Uh, and I hope that we can do well. You can more or less declare war on each other to some degree. Uh, basically, just yesterday, uh, I believe the number one guild more or less demolished what was the number three guild. They just destroyed, like, a mo the majority of their bases. It was kind of crazy. So this game can have a little bit of drama on it. So just keep in mind, guys, this is a war game. 
So when people start like coming after you, like don't take it personal. It's part of the game, you know. Just you know, unite as a guild and just have have fun with the game. You know, like I said, I like the idea of the game. It's not very Final Fantasy ish. Like I said, it only has like a few characters and it has like you know Chocobo, but. A lot of this is really just a war game with some Final Fantasy skins on it here and there. That's basically what it is. And then once, you know, your buildings are almost done, you can tap a free button and boom, uh, you know, you're done as far as building whatever you're going to build. And then you can kind of keep going from there. Uh, I'm trying to say if there's anything else that you guys need to know. Uh, join the guild, attack monsters, uh, of course level 1 for starters. That's going to be your fastest way to do stuff level up everything build everything level it up and then for anything that gives you resources like your farm your queries your stone queries and energy extractors uh, i recommend building multiples of those and then leveling them it'll help you get stuff faster you know so I'd recommend doing that uh go to your, your university you can build up a lot of things i'm focusing on my hero right now but i did start off on economics uh, you know, to help my production of stuff that can give me stuff. Which, I'm, like I said, I'm not very high. I'm pretty low on the totem pole. Very new to the game. I am not haven't spent any money yet, which I plan on actually doing tomorrow. I'm probably going to do, like, the four ninety nine basic package and just see what it gives me. And, you know, I might spend little bits and pieces of money here and there because I am enjoying this game. Really, really good game from what I can tell so far. But, you know, go to the university. Do what you can as far as your economics and your hero. I think that's going to help you out in the very beginning. Uh, you're going to want to build barracks. And then upgrade, you know, heroes. So basically you're going to want to build X amount of troops. So as you can tell, I have about 200 of certain troops left. Uh, some of the other troops I have are currently farming, as you saw earlier. But um, you also have a siege engine, which I believe is help for, you know, dealing with buildings and stuff. So you're going to want that. And, like I said, yeah, just build everything and level everything up as fast as you can within reason. Uh, you know, ask your guild mates for help if you want. I try not to ask for help, but I did ask one time because I was in a hurry to get something. Um, also, what you can do, uh, I did forget something. I'm trying to remember where it is. Actually, you can just go to more. And then, because you can do everything here. Go to the proving grounds. If it lets me go there. And then you can actually attack monsters here as well. So if I were to go to uh, just tap on the flan there, I can go up to it. And if I had enough energy, which I don't, uh, or I don't, I think I have, I need the MP or something or loyalty. I could, you know, continue to attack this guy over and over until he dies. And if he dies, you actually get more resources. So that's pretty cool as well. So go ahead and I would recommend doing that if you have the resources to mess with that. Um, definitely build traps for your base. You want to make sure that if your shield is gone to, you know, make sure that you have some kind of defense. Uh, mine's not obviously the best yet, but, you know, it's a start. Uh, continue to help people as you can. Uh, communicate with your guild. So this is, you know, our guild chat. Uh, this is realm chat. So you can see what everybody's talking about here. And, you know... They also have a custom thing, I guess if you want to do like a custom chat between you and certain people. So, you know, that's a thing too. So this is a really, really interesting game. I like it a lot, and I'm going to continue playing it. It's just, like I said, a slow-paced war game. Pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, Final Fantasy, you know, thank you for having a game like this so that I can show it off. Am I going to do mobile game videos on this game on a normal basis? I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to come up with enough content. I'm not sure what I would talk about, but maybe if there are some new updates or new cool things or someone just decides to tell me, hey, I want you to do videos on this subject or whatever on the game, then I might put something together sometime in the future. You never know. But until then, this has been a good demo, I hope, of Let's Demo Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire. You guys take it easy.